Yeah, I know. What's the best way to take reishi? Now, we all have our different styles. First, reishi can't be taken raw. I have to cook it. Really? Yeah. So just pick it up and use it? Like it's like wood. You can't really do anything like that. It's like chewing on a piece of wood. Like a tea? No, it's like I, I The best is like a tea. I have to, to say that I take it as an extract. Because of my life, I want it the highest extraction. And I use Duan Wood Rishi. Duan Wood, D-U-A-N. W-O-O-D. In other words, it's Rishi grown on this particular kind of log. Yeah. I use the drops. And everybody's a little different, but one or two droppers a day is the minimum. They actually recommend more on the bottles. It would be three droppers twice a day is a, is a good general dose. But if you look at it, it gets kind of expensive going that way. So... My sense is, you know, a little less, but consistently would be the way I would go. Like one or two droppers twice a day would be good. Yeah. Since you mentioned that, can you refer to the difference between the liquid and the capsules? Let's say I would go with whatever you recommend rather than what my personal preference. I like the liquid because you're going to get better assimilation. I think you get better extraction than the prepared herb. That's my bias. Most of them they do in a way of like raw food. They manage to extract it in low temperature these days. Right. They're all, uh, basically all the ones for me around tea garden, or I'll say all, almost all, are low temperature extracted. So they, they are that. But remember, Rishi has to be cooked, so. It's not as critical an issue, but in general, you know, the low extraction, the low temperature extraction is is good. Okay, so I like the liquid. It's just easier for most people to assimilate. If you're concerned about the alcohol, there's a little trick that helps as you put it in boiling water. Remember, boiling water only stays boiling. You're not going to leave it boiling. But let's say you have your teapot and you pour the hot water and it's boiling, it was going to evaporate off the alcohol. But there is research showing a little bit of alcohol actually protects you from wood alcohol poisoning, which is something we're all exposed to. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs>